All right, we're in the shop tonight. No cars here other than Powin's car, which has no subframe in it. The goal of tonight is to clear a bunch of stuff out of here. We have uh, really just tools and parts and everything all over the place from all the projects that we've taken on. Ding. Front plate. All business. This is the biggest. The bolt. Smooth. It's not connected. Okay. The clip. The bottom. Oh, so I hit air. Basically since last summer, we haven't really done a deep clean. So tonight the boys are coming by. We're gonna get all the stuff cleaned up. We're gonna take inventory of everything because I have a couple like sockets and stuff like that that are missing. I know Zach has some stuff that's all around. And uh, we're gonna figure out a better way to organize this place. So uh, I bought a couple goodies. I think I'm gonna buy some more goodies. And we're gonna make this work. We're gonna figure it out. Let's get rolling. This is my fault. These have been here for a while. These go to duck but I forgot to bring them to the track day that we did, so I gotta get these out of here. That almost worked. We got one corner ready to roll. We're all gonna be breathing in some nice cement dust today. Struggle right now is uh, only outer perimeter space is usable for storage. If anyone has suggestions on non-wall drillable high mounting storage, <laughs> gotta like hook something off the ceiling or something. We're figuring it out though, one step at a time. Hey, there you go. That's my four. This is, yeah, this is strong man. This is strong man, not this powerlifting. Strong, okay. Yeah. Oh, hey there. <laughs> Alan snagged these from Harbor Freight, uh, which seems to be our go-to store recently. I reached out to Harbor Freight, I haven't gotten an email back yet, but um, this is a, crawl, uh, what is it, a tool creeper? Tool creeper, I think, yeah. So when you're underneath your car on your back, you bring all your tools with you, it's even got a magnet. This thing's sick. Wait, do we have two of them? Yeah, you have two of them. I have one of them. We have two of these. I just used these doing the exhaust on the SQ5. Highly recommend and very cheap. are very small. I was not expecting the bins to be this small. Oh, well. Okay, here's the shelves they stack on. I should have just done that from the beginning. Look at that. That's the first row of shelves up. It's just, well, it's level, but. I just put two drywall anchors and then this side's on a stud. So, heck yeah. We're in business. The reason I bought those things is so we can take this drawer, which you can see is just an absolute disaster spare parts and stuff, and start stacking them up up there with the goal of freeing up this third drawer so I can put these guys in here, which don't fit in the second drawer. Currently my sockets are up here on these little rack things, which I guess are kind of convenient to take out, but it's really annoying to like put back and take out quickly. So I'm gonna try the like slide on socket thing. If I don't like it, I can always go back to the socket rails. But uh, the third drawer is gonna become my socket drawer. The second drawer will become my wrench, like pliers, like this kind of stuff drawer. Uh, and then the spare bolts and stuff like that will go up there, and that should free up some space for me, ideally. This is all power and stuff, this is my stuff, and I guess the first step is clearing out what's in here. Yeah, actually, no, for sure. They're
All right, here's the official ignition tube toolbox tour. This is a Craftsman box that used to be red that I refinished black. It's really not perfect, but it matches this way better. Not unhappy with it. Um, this box kind of holds random crap, and then we got stickers and some injectors and whatever. But top drawer is really miscellaneous stuff. I got a voltage tester and some other, I don't know, junk. This drawer is usually the grinding drawer. Powen's using some of this stuff, but uh, it'd be some more grinding discs here, and then, uh, you know, sanding stuff here. And I don't know, there's a tape measure in there. This drawer, uh, really, I only use this section plus the zip ties, uh, picks. Usually there's two more uh, wheel hangers for the Audi, but those are at home. Uh, tire depth gauge, and then a rivet gun that I really used once, and now it just sits in here. This one, again, kind of miscellaneous stuff, uses connectors, some Dremel stuff, and some taps, and that kind of stuff. And a windshield wiper puller tool. If you don't have one of these, snag yourself one of these. They're cheap. Top drawer is wrenches. Uh, don't ask me where my 13 or my 14 is right now. Sorry, my 14 or my 15 is right now. I'm not sure. Two of these screwdrivers are at my house. We got the magnet guys in here. We got the, uh, the grabber guy and then uh, a bunch of other wrenches. These are regular wrenches, these are ratcheting wrenches, ratcheting flex, regular guys. I have up till 24 here. This only goes eight to 19. Second drawer, as you guys just saw, we got Torx, Hex, O2, triple square, double stack of triple square, because I'm missing the 10 mil triple square out of this one, which is really the only useful one. So uh, now I have two sets of triple squares. Uh, needle nose, um, snap ring pliers, exhaust hanger removal tool, which you don't have one of these, you need to get yourself one of these. A couple specialty tools, and like I said, the coolant clamps that, uh, or the, the hose, like coolant hose clamps that I've used a couple times for like heat exchangers or whatever. Probably need to get a smaller box for that. Drawer number three. This is the, the one that I'm really happy with. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight socket organizer, a uh, combination of Tecton and Pittsburgh sockets, mostly Tecton stuff. Uh, ratchets are almost all from Tecton at this point. Um, adapters, extensions, uh, ball and hex, and regular hex, and then a bunch of miscellaneous like extra sockets and stuff. Uh, drawer number four is my Milwaukee drawer, which is a little bare because there's some tools out. Um, yeah, one's right there. But uh, this is generally my Milwaukee drawer, so we'll have extra batteries. Uh, there's actually a battery on every tool right now. Uh, I have more Milwaukee stuff at home too, which is kind of a problem. Uh, I have a lot of these M12 batteries. Um, M18 light is over there. I have the rocket light here, which again also has a battery in it. I have two of those and two of these. Two of them sit at home and two of them are at the shop. Uh, and then the bottom drawer is the disaster drawer. Uh, we got our grinder in here. I should probably take that off and put it back in. I got an old polisher. We got hammers. Uh, we have the long breaker bars. Uh, there's another breaker bar back here. This should go up with these guys. Um, this is a Tecton breaker bar. This is a Tecton 24 inch half inch. This is a Tecton 24 inch half inch socket. And then uh, I got the, the old Pittsburgh breaker bar, which if you don't have one, either snag the Tecton one or the Harbor Freight one. That's where it's at. Some hub centric rings. And that is pretty much it. Shop itself is looking pretty clean. Uh, that's going to go to the dump. That's our landlord taking that because we now have a mini split in here. Shout out to Jared. Um, we got the jacks back here. I just did maintenance on both of mine. Uh, refilled the uh, refilled the fluid on this one. That one wasn't working at all. I put some WD on it. Uh, it is working again. Don't ask me how. Don't ask me why. But it's doing the thing. Uh, I got a three-ton Pittsburgh jack at home too. Uh, that one also just needed more fluid, so I did all of that. Uh, that's Zach's. That's Pounds, or maybe that's Pounds. That's Zach's. We all have. We're all running Harbor Freight jacks, and we all have uh, great experiences with them. Uh, this area will be kind of cleared out. Uh, we don't really need it right now because we only have two cars in here at a time at max. Um, once we have three, obviously, we'll clean that stuff up. Powin's kind of the disaster zone here because he's doing a subframe on the M3, uh, but that is perfectly okay. We'll clean this area out once he is done on this job. Uh, and then I got, the, uh, I got the shelves up. I forgot to show you this. Uh, shelves are up with uh, all sorts of stuff in them. A uh, couple empty ones, but uh, these, these are, I mean, for 13 bucks, I was kind of worried about how they would handle the weight. But if you look at the back here, there is, see that part that hangs down? 
this sits against that and instead of, I was worried it was gonna sit here and pull on the top like that and pull this part out and pull this part out, but because it has that little bar down, it's actually distributing the weight pretty nicely. Um, and even with a lot of nuts in there, I mean, that feels like it's in the wall. They actually feel more flimsy when they have less stuff in them than when they have more stuff in them, so that's impressive. Um, I could see us buying another set of these and putting them right there, uh, but for now, we have a couple extras left. Um, and this will be way more helpful than having buckets of bolts because I've now organized them like nuts, long bolts, more nuts, longer bolts, specialty VW Audi bolts, miscellaneous stuff, etc. And then over here, hidden away, this, this area is next. I gotta clean this area up. But over here, hidden away, uh, this is like an extra storage box. It's got speakers that I should throw out. This is another Craftsman box that I bought and redid. This has like some random audio stuff in it with some spare parts. You gotta clean that out at some point. Ooh, I gotta put away the, the bougie wrench that I bought that everyone says works for downpipes on V9s. It doesn't. That's all right. I guess I can put this guy away now. You can go right here. We don't wanna lose that. Saw blades, extra blower stuff. I got the freaking. Don't ask me why I bought this. I thought it would be good to dry my car, but I never use it to dry my car now that I have the big drying towel, but the, the compact blower. Sometimes ends up here, sometimes ends up at the house. Depends on, uh, depends on how the day's going. That's the shop. Cleaned up, done, toolbox reset. Man, this drawer makes me so happy. That is so much better. And I know I'm gonna destroy it as soon as I do my first job, but nice to have a reset every now and again. Drives me nuts that I lost the 12 mil here and we didn't find it clean it up. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a little bit all over the place. Go out there and spread some positivity and I will catch you guys in the next video.